Hello and welcome back to another vlog where I film what I get up to on a weekly basis. This week we won't be going on as many adventures because we've got lots of stuff to do down the allotment and I've got to do some stuff at home. We've got some basically, this is going to be a chore vlog. We're going to do like lots of chores today. But before we crack on with the allotment stuff, it is time to head over to my mum's because she requires her assistance. So let's throw to that, literally. Oh, well, we're back at the land of the chickens where my mum's got some major upgrades in her allotment. Check out all the stuff that's grown here. Look, we've got some flowers. She built a little pathway now. But geez, all the things are growing here. She even grew some grass. Look how crazy this grass is, by the way. This looks like that before, just dirt. And she planted some grass seeds down and holy moly, I've never seen grass come up so fast. But we are at my mum's because I said I'd come over and help dig some holes. So uh, today is going to be a hole digging day. Without further ado, let's roll the time lapse of digging holes. Now that that hole is dug out, time to get a three by three post, stick it in a hole and fill it back in. But just like that, all of the holes have been dug and all the posts have been put in. And I think as far as pagoda tunnels go, we did a pretty good job. Okay, we're back home, but the next clip needs a bit of an introduction because it's going to be featuring Tom, which might be a little bit random. Uh, however, something happened the other day on RuneScape and I wanted to showcase it in a vlog and Tom reacts to it. So uh, without further ado, roll the footage. Okay then, so ladies and gentlemen, hello, this is a random Sunday morning and uh, Orion, my editor, who edits all these videos, explosion, explosion, uh, randomly decided to send me a video and he said, don't do anything other than watch this video and react to it. So I have opened it up, I have no idea what this is going to be and I'm going to react to a one minute video, so it's called Sorry and I'm going to give it a watch. Are we ready? Well, usually I don't film this kind of stuff, but this is a bit of a moment. For a little bit of context, I've been playing RuneScape, right? Because Tom got me into it, and Tom has been on a grind oh, no. to get oh, this no. pet, which has a really, really rare chance of dropping. And I'm sure you can probably tell by this point, and Tom is probably kicking himself, but I'm doing my daily farming run before I go out for the day, and there's a pet following me. So this is a little bit complicated, but basically I was farming this papaya tree, right? Which has a one in 9,000 chance to drop. So when I'm on the game, every time I harvest this tree, I have a chance for this funny feeling to, that I'm being followed to pop up in the chat. And then if I click on this tangle root here, hello there, pretty plant. I have a tangle, this is, oh. And then I can pick him up, look, and I have the pet. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Tom. Like, I'm sorry. I, I, I've just got the, I'm just the RNG. God, mate. I thought I was starting my day on a good day and I thought he was going to send me some good news and he's just absolutely fucking fired me. You're fired. I've spent a full month, a full month, every a month. morning. Hey. Every morning, every evening. Every morning, every evening trying to get this fucking pet. I've you... spent a whole month watching <laughs> you trying to get this bloody pet. I'm very sad. I just want my tangle root. Well, you can't help but feel a little bit bad for Tom because genuinely, when he says he spent a long time, that that is no exaggeration. Like it has taken him a long time, and he still hasn't got it. Uh, so. Yeah, I feel a little bit bad, but like I said, I don't usually show RuneScape stuff, but it was a bit of a moment because me and Tom and everyone, all the boys have been playing RuneScape a lot at the moment, so I thought I'd showcase it in the vlog. But right, nerdy stuff aside, we've got a busy day ahead of us, so let's head out. First thing on our list of things to do today is head back down to the allotment because it's been about three weeks since I've actually been down here, and we need to take some measurements. Because I think it's time we finally make some progression on this fence. So let's get the tape out and measure how long one width is going to be, which looks to be 130 or 10 foot. And if I've done my job correctly, this should also be the same length, which it is. But stupid me can't read upside down. It was actually 310. And I'm actually quite proud of myself because I eyeballed these posts when I put them in. I didn't actually measure them out. So I've done a pretty good job to considering. So all right, time to hit the road and head to B&Q. Oh. Jeez, it looks like someone's been doing donuts here. What the fuck is going on with the floor? <laughs> We're back in the land of the holy wood. 
that, that's such a weird way to say that. But I've had a change of plans and a uh, fresh idea. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use these basically as railings. And then if I want to, then later on, we can kind of picket it like that. For the time being, it'll keep Benjamin out of the allotment and out of all the crops and stuff like that and just in the garden. And I keep forgetting, but one of these days, I'm going to come and get some of this so we can make Benjamin a little sand pit to play in because that'll be pretty fun down the allotment. All righty, we need some screws. I'm not entirely sure which ones to get. So I'm just going to kind of eyeball it and make it up. Not 100% sure, but hopefully these ones do. And there's only one way to find out, and that is by trial and error. All right, here's what we're going to do. We're going to grab the post bumper back out. And even though my body is killing me after being at my mum's, we're going to thump these posts down a little bit lower so they're all a bit more level. And then my 200 IQ idea is basically use two of these lengthways like this, and it'll act like a fence for the time being. And I'm not going to actually cut them down to length because when we're done with them, because they're actually fence panels, I can obviously then turn them around, probably cut them in half and... And Jesus Christ, nearly got knocked out for wearing panel. But as I was saying before, I nearly got knocked out. We can actually use them for what they're actually meant to be used for, which is fence panels. Uh, and then when I get some railing, we can put the railing lengthways like this and then use the panels like that. And that should create a pretty good fence. But it's time to thump the post down and get them kind of level, a little bit lower. Which I think I've just about managed to do. Maybe this far end post needs to go down a little bit. Ignore the middle ones, because obviously that's going to hold the gate. But I've just about managed to get it level a little bit lower so it should match that fence over there. Now it's time to get the fence panels up, so let's go do that. Which I would have loved to have filmed, but my phone ran out of space, so it cut the time lapse off in half. Silly me forgot to bring like a level down with me, so I kind of had to use some weird old school wizardry to do this. So what I've done is I've cut a bit of rod here, and as you can see, it fits perfectly there. And then I've taken it down to each juncture and then put it in here and then again down this end and did it like that so it stays pretty much level the entire way through let's try attempt number two and put the panels up That might be the weirdest way I've ever done something like that. But I do think it actually worked out because now we actually have a fence that goes all the way along here. But we've got a couple of things left to do before we finish with the fence. We obviously need to sort the gate out, but I'm going to add in another post like here and here and bring the fence from here along here as well. So basically it encloses the whole garden area. Despite the messy garden, we're actually beginning to section off this area of the allotment for all kind of growing things and then use this area for Benjamin's play area. It's actually starting to look really good. The onions are still growing, the carrots are pretty much there. We've also got pak choy here, which is growing through pretty nicely. And we've got one more planter to sort out, which is obviously you can see is getting some weeds in it because we've not been down here very often. But all in all, lots of progression is being made down the allotment. I think before we head on back home and get on with the rest of our day, uh, I think we should probably water some plants. Because this week we've got like a heat wave going on. It's meant to be like 30 degrees this week. So got to keep on top of this or the plants will die. Right, time for task two of the day, which is to get this mouse shipped out to Luke because he won it last week. So instead of building a box like I did last time, I think we just could use an envelope. Well then you put it in there. Yeah. Good boy. Stick, stick, stick. All done. <laughs> well, that's everything done down the allotment, which again, I'm actually really happy for how this has turned out. I think time to head to the car. Oh, snap. That's not good. Oh no, it's still going up. Oh, uh, not too bad, but it's getting pricey. With our heart attack over at the petrol station, I think it's time to go get a haircut. Benjamin's been dropped off, so I'm, I'm child free. Let's go shave off this mop, shall we? Oh, look at that fresh trim. But right, now that the haircut is actually sorted and by the way, had my car clean and it's, I mean, apart from this pissing alcohol staying digested, I got my haircut, I got the car cleaned. We're on top of things today, but I think there's one thing I want to do today uh, before we head back home and round out the vlog, and that is to get a jobby mount, which is one of those mounts that grip to things, uh, because I always have like a stand, and that's just, it's not quite the same. And I've just noticed this air freshener that got put in my car. Keep calm and carry on. Should have looked at that after I've got my fucking diesel. Right, let's drive over to PC World or Curry's, or Curry's PC, whatever the fuck it's called nowadays, and see if they've got any mounts in. Well, that is what I'm looking for, either that one or that one. But I don't know if I need a separate adapter for it, but it does what I want it to. Okay, mission accomplished. Time to see if it actually works the way I hope it will. I'm ripping this thing out, he says, one-handed. Why do I always do this one-handed? Aha, it is exactly what I needed. Because now what I can do is I can take this thing off the top of this, which just literally unscrews like that, and it should screw in there. 
Which it does, yes! So now I can literally grip you to anything. I mean, I shouldn't have used my guitar, really. But with the power of beads, I can now use this mount instead of the other mount, and I can grip you to trees. I can grip you to doors. I can even grip you to the ceiling. Ugh, which is exactly what we need to improve these vlogs. But right, we're going to end the vlog where I started today. Back down the allotment, because we've had a chippy, I've had a beer. And it is time to end today's vlog. So thank you for watching. But if you enjoyed this video, please leave the video a thumbs up and appreciate that. If you're new around here, feel free to subscribe. It doesn't cost you anything. And we will see you next week at Friday at 6pm for maybe a little bit of a travel vlog. So I'll catch you guys there. Peace, peace. Tom gifted 50 subs. Sorry, my ass is on stream. I'm just realising. I'm being really sorry about that. Let me bring you with me. <laughs> sorry, sorry. That was my ass. Now you're just going to have to stare at my crotch. Deal with it. Okay, this is better.